when I was on my way to the grocery store today, I was thinking, wow, I really don't need a whole lot to get me through this week. So as long as I don't find a whole lot of holiday items, this is gonna be a fairly small grocery haul. And then I walked through the doors of Trader Joe's. What is up you guys? Happy Monday. Welcome back to another Vlogmas video. My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I am sharing with you another weekly grocery haul and meal plan that I share every single week for my family of six but normally I share my videos on Tuesdays but I made a little tiny boo-boo you guys today's video is actually in collab with my friend tiffany over at small town six and i completely goofed and i told her hey we're going to post together on december 6th and she wrote me yesterday and said hey are we still good for tomorrow and i was like tomorrow i post my grocery hauls on tuesdays till i realized I made the mom brain mistake of telling her we can post today. And I'm not gonna mess up anybody's Vlogmas schedule. So you guys are getting a grocery haul a day early, but if you do like these kinds of videos and you are new, I do post them every single Tuesday and I share my meal plan as well. So I want you guys to go over and check out what Tiffany got for her weekly grocery haul. You guys, I just love her. She posts all the same kind of content that I do, so I know you guys will love her as well. But I think what I love the most about her is her editing style and her dedication to treating this like a job because I feel if someone puts a lot of heart and soul and you can tell that they work hard on their videos to put out good content to edit well to put good music to what you're watching and make it entertaining if you see that in some of these videos then you know that this channel means something to them and that's the kind of effort and love that i feel like i put into mine so i like watching people that put that same kind of effort into their channel that i do and i know that you guys will love her because she's exactly the same way so i'm gonna leave all of tiffany's information in the description box go over show her some love support her so she doesn't get out of whack with her vlogmas schedule and i hope posting today ended up helping her out so you guys will get a different video tomorrow you're gonna get a vlog tomorrow it's already ready and ready to go so you guys will get that tomorrow but I have a nice grocery haul to share with you guys like I said my weekly items were somewhat minimal but they had all their holiday items like just unpacking the last of what they had and there was this woman Cece and I only know her name because I asked it on purpose because we were standing by like the rack where all of the different like holiday items were and I was like pondering and I was thinking and I was like I don't know should I do that for Mason's birthday and I was like thinking and she said to me and Vanessa ladies if you're even pondering for one second don't get it because I'm unpacking the last of what we're going to have so when what you see on the floor Christmas item wise is gone nothing else is coming back in this store and it's early already it's only December 6th the day that I'm filming this is the day you're seeing it so it, that's like for them to almost be out of Christmas stuff already it that's why I always get my stuff early especially from there so I pretty much took care of all the gifty things like my servicemen we're gonna gift little stockings full of goodies to our neighbors my kids have like dance teachers and karate teachers and their school teachers and stuff and so I got like all the gifty chocolatey fun kind of stuff so I have a lot of like really fun stuff to share with you and then some regular items mixed in because I'm not going back to Trader Joe's until the middle of January January so maybe even later because we're going to New York so probably not till the end of January so I got all of our like favorites but I have a nice haul to share with you guys so I'm just gonna put a little timestamp right here in case you don't care about the giveaways but even if you're coming over from Tiffany's channel I do a grocery haul giveaway every single week here on the channel my husband picks one mystery item like I just kind of go through my grocery haul but one of those items were something he specifically asked for and you guys put it in the comments below. And next week, if I call your name, then you just email me and I send you a gift card out. And so I have two winners to announce today because one of you actually wrote me an email and said, hey, I noticed that you never pulled your giveaway winner for your Aldi haul. And I went back and looked and realized that I never 
ever did. And so Mary Bird, you picked Danish. And I told you guys in that Aldi haul, so much of that stuff was Daryl's. And I asked him, what is your one thing? What's your one thing? And he chose the raspberry Danish. So Mary Bird, if you're watching this, send me an email. You are the winner of the Aldi grocery haul from two weeks ago. And I'm sorry that I kind of missed pulling the winner on that. And then for last week, the item he asked for was hauls. Uh, he, the, we started getting some colds in the house. My kids have actually gone full-fledged somewhere else. They're on a virus or something. Fever is the whole deal. But my husband just kind of had like a head cold, and so he asked for some Hall's cough drops. So, Angelia Clary, you are this week's winner. This woman has been commenting on my videos forever. I love her dearly. She comments on my Instagram. She is truly the best and she's never won anything of mine before so that was really cool that she won so send me an instagram or an email or something and i will get a gift card out to you as well again if you're new just pick an item you think maybe my husband chose and maybe it'll be your name i call next week but all right you guys i love you to pieces let's get down to business i'm going to take you to the table show you what i spent 280 dollars on at trader joe's and then we'll get into this week's meal plan all right, you guys, believe it or not, this was $280. I mean, this is a big kitchen table, but it does not go all the way to the end. It does not go all the way back. This is pretty much just because of these holiday specialty items, but this really just helped me make things coming up this month super super easy and so for me it's all about enjoying the holidays this year and not really stressing about you know the little incidentals like the shopping and stuff anymore all right this is something that i could not wait to share with you guys i think this is something new because i've never seen it but the facility is one of our favorite trader joe's pasta in every one of my grocery hauls i always buy pasta from trader joe's and i always get the facility it's one of my favorite pastas but this one says quite possibly the world's largest facility. Do you see how big that piece of pasta is in comparison? Like, look if I hold them both in the frame that you can see. This one is probably like four times the size. I'm not even sure yet what I'm going to do with this because I don't even feel like this is something we could use for dinner, maybe as a side dish, but they're gonna swell up super huge. I'm really thinking doing something like cinnamon twists, like the ones that they make from Taco Bell. That is actually fried, partially cooked pasta. So you like three quarters of the way cook your pasta and then they fry it and it puffs up and it makes that cinnamon twist. So maybe like a special treat. I don't know, I just saw it and I knew it was my favorite pasta and I've never seen anything like it. So I picked it up, I'm not sure yet what we're gonna do with it, but I am gonna give it a try. And then I did get the regular facility and then I got the rigatoni and then I also got the penne. While I'm standing back here, I'll just go Go over the chips really quick we got these trader joe's nacho cheese chips last time we went this is like a dupe of the nacho cheese doritos i'm not a fan of nacho cheese doritos i like the cool ranch or the purple bag like the sweet chili but these were quite possibly the very best dorito i've ever ever had and we used it to make like a sheet pan of nachos it was absolutely delicious. So I recommend that if you guys have not given that a try. And then, I don't know, I guess it's a permanent staple now. They had the Trader Joe's chips in a pickle again. They had the everything but the bagel ones as well. I'm not a huge fan of those as much as we are the pickle chips. And I know Maya will enjoy them. So I grabbed that. And then I grabbed these. I feel like I've seen them maybe before. But these are the Peruvian potato chips. And if you look really close, uh, it looks like those... What are those? Terra chips? I wanted to say terracotta, but that's not right. But you know, like the black bag of chips and their vegetables. I used to get them all the time. I think Vanessa gets them for Paige. They kind of look like that because it's different kind of vegetables instead of potatoes. I don't know. It does say Peruvian potato chips, but that's kind of what it reminded me of. So I picked those up and then I also picked up some of these box of cookie things. Mason's birthday party is on Sunday and his party is from two to four. So being that it's not lunchtime and it's not dinner time, it's that in between, I don't really have to serve like food food. I think I am gonna do like some light finger foods, but I think I'm just gonna focus more on different kinds of desserts. So these are the dark chocolate stars. It's shortbread cookies that are covered in dark chocolate and then they have like the little white 
little Perel sprinkles on them. So I thought I can put out like a, you know, do like maybe a dessert board with a bunch of different things. So we can do the dark chocolate stars and then they have the dark mint stars. I've been getting these every single year for years. They are amazing. And then I got our, of course, golden round crackers. That's just a dupe for Ritz. All right, let me come back now over here because now at least I can reach this way. So another like cookie thing that I picked out was these decked out tree cookies. I thought these would be super cute for the little like cookie boxes that we're making for our neighbors. These say decked out tree cookies with milk chocolate filling, white chocolate drizzle and festive sprinkles and this says there's only eight cookies in here but since we're making a bunch of boxes I feel like it would be nice to just put like one of those and then you know a few of other things uh, I did grab the Trader Joe's Scandinavian Tidings. They have a bunch of these throughout the year that are different like kinds. They even have ones in the summer that are called like Scandinavian Swimmers. I don't know if it's just the flavors, but there's something about the red, white, and green ones. And I only get the Christmas ones. I don't buy them any other time of year, just now. And it's a soft and chewy gummy candy. But this is going to be nice for our little like movie night thing. We have a night that we're going to do where I'm just going to make like a big dessert board and we'll do like popcorn and snacks and stuff and watch a Christmas movie and this is one of the things I wanted to get for that. I got this little Trader Joe's festive chocolate collection. It says with dark milk and white chocolates in assorted holiday shapes. I got this for Mason's Sifu. That's his karate instructor. It's a man and so I felt like it's a little harder to gift to a man with the cutesy kind of stuff, but I thought Mason would like to give this chocolate because Mason's a Christmas baby, so he's all about everything Christmassy and stuff. He was born into that time of year and he just loves it. So I think he'll really love enjoying giving that to him with a gift card. So that is for a Mason's Karate Instructor. I did get this one for Daryl. We were gifted a bunch of these like little tiny bottles one year and we enjoyed them so much that the following year or even two years in a row I got them for Daryl but I didn't get them for him this year and then I saw these and I thought maybe he would want to try th these instead. So this is the assortment of boozy little chocolate truffles. It's London gin, scotch whiskey, navy rum, and prosecco, which that kind of sounds really good. And it says a little bit of booze in each bite. So I just thought something different for him to try than those little foil bottles that we have gotten in the past. Uh, Anne Marie Mitchell, she is a subscriber. I'm shouting out to you, girl. I know that she lives overseas, and when she saw my stocking video, she commented and asked if Jake had ever tried the Chomps meat sticks because I had beef jerky in his stocking. And she said she really likes these. They're also zero sugar, and she thought maybe Jake would like them. So when I saw these individual sticks at Trader Joe's, I thought this would be a great place to grab them. I'll add this to his stocking, and and it'll be something that he can try. And so this one is the grass fed and finished beef in the, is that just the regular flavor? Oh yeah, original beef stick. And then this one is the jalapeno. So I don't know, he will give those a try. And then this isn't gonna go in a stocking, it's just gonna go in the snack bin. But I got these for Jake last time. They're super pricey, unless I can find a big box of them. They're almost like two bucks a piece. But Jake said this was by far the best protein bar he has ever had. And it's the Clift Builders Protein. There's 20 grams in here, and it's the chocolate peanut butter. So I just grabbed him two to throw in our like granola bar, a little snack bar bin. And then I grabbed five of the dark chocolate Patan Espresso and five of the dark chocolate pecan raspberry. One of these is going to go to Daryl and one's going to go to Paul, but out of the other four of each flavor, we're going to continue to just add them to everybody's gift package. The ones that we're doing for the neighbors, for the teachers. We have dance teachers, there are school teachers. Like I said, Mason's karate teacher. We also have like the garbage men and the recycling men and all of that. We're putting, you know, care packages together for all of them. And so I needed a few more of those for that. And these only come out during this time of year. So I went and grabbed those. I did grab some of the Trader Joe's Real Mistletoe. I usually hang this on our headboard and you can't break Christmas tradition like that is just 
doomed for a crappy Christmas, right? You have to stick with Christmas tradition. And so if we hang a little bit of mistletoe over our bed, then it just ensures that we kiss goodnight. So I get that every year, at least if I can find it. There was a year I couldn't find it. I was super sad about that. Uh, I saw these. I've never seen these before. It's Trader Joe's Peppermint Brownies. It says that it's going to uh, expire in two days. So I think I'm going to freeze them. I'd like to add this to the little desserts that we're doing for Mason's birthday on Sunday, but Sunday is the 12th. So I don't really want to push it. So I'm just going to throw these in the freezer. I'm sure they will defrost just fine. Uh, we got these last year. Also, this is another one of those great things to just put in those you know, little cookie boxes that you're making because these are nice size chocolate covered pretzels. So if you add one of these and then, you know, one of those cookies and then two Jojo's and, you know, you start adding a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And then next thing you know, those little cookie boxes are full. And so these are a pretzel twist assortment. It's dark chocolate with peppermint candy chunks, which that is just my favorite because it's that time of year. So I'm all about it. And then there's dark chocolate with diced almonds and a little extra chocolate drizzle. That's the one in the middle. And then there's milk chocolate with rainbow sprinkles. So all of those are like super special items that we'll be able to fill those boxes with. I got some of the Bench and Field Holistic and Natural with Added Vitamins and Minerals Feline Treats. These are the soft ones. I never can find soft treats for cats at Trader Joe's. They only ever have like the crispier ones and Oliver doesn't like those. He only likes the soft ones. So when I saw those, I grabbed them. I realized he didn't really have any treats in his stocking. It was really more like toys and stuff. And so I wanted to grab something else for that. I grabbed this for my mom. I just felt like she would absolutely love this. She loves the smell of anything like pine and Christmas tree. And so it's the Trader Joe's White Pine Moisturizing Hand Lotion. And then it also comes with the hand soap and it's in like a little like holder, like a little caddy. I thought that was just super cute. So I grabbed that to give to my mom. I grabbed the little Trader Joe's Candleton Trio. Again, I thought this would be something really cool to put with like the dance teacher and stuff or the neighbor. I have a few of these still from last year, like in my own cabinet that I still haven't burned because I buy so many of them and then I don't get a chance to burn them all. So I really could pull from my own stash and give like, I think a candle would be good in the stocking with like the little cookie packages that we're making and that kind of thing. So there is the cranberry pine, the fresh currant, and the nutmeg, and they all smell fantastic. I've gotten them for many, many years. Uh, again, something else for those cookie boxes or for Sunday for Mason's birthday. I'm not really sure yet, but this is the Trader Joe's, the outstanding multi-flavored box. Again, this only comes out during this time of year, and it says it's chocolate enrobed sandwich cookies with various chocolates drizzles, sprinkles, and crumbles. So let me share with you on the side because it does show you what's in here. So it says, now appearing, it's the double chocolate, a cookie in dark chocolate with a milk chocolate drizzle. Now appearing the peppermint cookie in dark chocolate with crushed peppermint sprinkles, the peanut butter, which is a cookie in milk chocolate with a dark chocolate drizzle, and then a vanilla ginger cookie in white chocolate with ginger snap crumbles. All of them are delicious. We've had every single one of them and they are, like I said, perfect for those little like boxes that we're making. Uh, two things that I purchased that I'm giving to my husband to put in my stocking because I am literally obsessed and once this time of year goes away, you just don't see it. Unless you make it yourself, you're just not going to have it. This is why people gain weight during the holidays is what it is. Sorry, not sorry, but I am all about peppermint. Like I love minty stuff, especially with dark chocolate. And this is the Candy Cane Jojo's Dark Chocolate Bar. Never saw this before. It's new this year. Dark chocolate bar with Jojo cookie bits, generously topped with crushed peppermint. Yes, please. Thank you. In my stocking, it goes. And then here are the cookies that I was talking about. So I just talked about these in my Walmart grocery haul because I picked up a bag from Walmart of something very, very similar. And they are very, very close. I'm dying to try these again to see like 
which one is better, but I'm pretty impressed with Walmart because I had never seen anything like it but at Trader Joe's, and then this year I found them at Walmart, and they're a heck of a lot cheaper at Walmart, but sometimes at Walmart, same thing, I won't be able to get it next time. So I grabbed these while I was there, and this sleeve is going in my stocking because because, and that's that. Uh, all right, so this is something I got last year and I was just talking about it with my mom and she said, well, if you go to Trader Joe's and they have it again, I would love for you to pick me up one because I've never seen anything like it. So I got one for my mom and then one for each one of my neighbors and then one for Maya's teacher. I'm doing something different for Mason's, but Maya's teacher said she loves baking, so I thought this would be something cute that we were throwing in with her package and then one of these for one of Maya's dance teachers. But this is called it's sedimentary my dear cookie so in this jar is layers of sugar brown sugar peanut butter chips candy coated chocolate drops oats and coffee with graham cracker crumbs and flour and then you just add butter egg and water and all the instructions are like right here on this little card and stuff right here it's super cute so it just hangs there and it just says what you will need and the instructions. I mean, if you have the time, this is a gift you totally could make yourself. You could go out and buy the ingredients and these jars and you could make a ton of these for super cheap and be able to give them out as gifts. I said I didn't have time for that this year and if I found them at Trader Joe's, I would just pick them up. They are $5, but I think that they are incredibly worth it because they're designed so pretty. I just love the little jar and I love the little tag that just hangs off of it. I bought those pretty little gift hanging tags from the Dollar Tree that we're gonna hang off the jar that'll just look so pretty and it will really appear to be a nice gift when we give that out. So I got a bunch of them, but like I said, that's gonna help me out huge because now all it needs is like, one of these little candy sticks and a small gift card or a candy stick and a little candle and then it just goes in the bag and it's done and I don't have to think about it so I'm super excited about being able to find those uh, being that I was in the store with Vanessa I saw this and I grabbed it I love chick-fil-a sauce and I was pondering on if this was like chick-fil-a sauce and she said they have it and it's something very very similar so I wanted to try it it's called their magnificent sauce a tangy sauce of secret proportion so I'm looking forward in trying that I had I had never seen it before uh, I got this last time the lemon basil pasta salad Paige always raves about it and asks for it she even asked for it again this time and I thought it was fantastic so I grabbed that of course, I had to grab a thing of the unexpected cheddar. I still haven't tried the one from Aldi. Mark said it is a very, very, very close dupe, but I, we love this cheese so, so much, and we'll be putting out like a bunch of different appetizer spreads over the next couple of weeks, so I wanted to have a backup, but he did say the other one is close. This one's better, but he said the other one is close. I got the onion chive cream cheese to make my rolled chicken dish one night this coming up a month. I got the Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese. We love that. I saw this. I've never seen this before. It's a dozen cousins. Mexican cowboy pinto beans. Pinto beans slow simmered with tomato, green chilies, and spices. So I thought that would be good for a taco night. Uh, the woman that was standing there that convinced me to buy all these goodies, where she was standing was where they have all the specialty items on like one big rack, which is also where all the fresh food is. And when she saw me looking at the soup, she asked me if I ever had it. And I said no. And she said it's one of the best chicken soups she has ever had. And everybody's been under the weather lately. So I felt like this would be something good to just have. I even can freeze it. But it's the kettle cooked chicken soup made in small batches with chicken raised with no antibiotics, fresh vegetables, and herbs. And you can see inside of it, like, look how yummy and hearty that looks. So grab that. And then when I was standing by the soup, I saw this. So unexpected cheddar broccoli soup. Whoa. Like, this is going to be a lunch for me this week, and I am so excited about it. Because I don't know if anybody else would eat that, but I don't care. That sounds amazing. Uh, I got the Trader Joe's a wine chicken salad. I got this a few times ago and Daryl really liked it. I was quite surprised. I didn't think that would be something that he would like because it has nuts in it. He usually doesn't like chicken salad and stuff with nuts, but this has cranberries and pecans and he enjoyed it. So I picked that up again to give him for some lunches this coming up week. 
I got a couple of cards. These are all gift card holders, again, for like teachers and that kind of thing, the ones that are getting gift cards. I thought this would be nice for the Sifu because it was manly. It just says happy holidays. I don't know if it says anything on the inside, but again, it's a gift card holder. So I got that one, and these were so pretty. I thought these were nice and festive and pink, so these will be for Mason and Maya's teacher. And then I got this for Paul. He absolutely loves chocolate-covered cherries, but these are the liqueur ones. I thought these would be quite yummy as like a special adult treat. Uh, I needed some stocking stuffers anyways. This is clearly not going to fit in his stocking, but if I just put it over by like where we put his stocking, at least when they come over to get their stockings, they'll, you know, have some things by it. Because I don't even know if this boozy one will fit in Daryl's stocking. Maybe they're kind of wide, but I don't even know if that will fit. But I'll just set it out by their stockings. But each one of the guys got like a liqueur kind of chocolate. Uh, are we done over here? Yes. Okay, so this I saw and when Franklin and I were talking, he told me that the day we decorate our Christmas tree, he's going to surprise the kids and let them know by like leaving out different little Christmassy tree kind of things. And so when I saw this, I thought I'm going to leave this for him with a little note that says, hey, whenever you tell the kids that we're going to decorate the tree, because I haven't told the kids when we're doing it, I only told Franklin. So when it's time, he He'll let them know so I'm gonna leave this out for him and tell him he can put this out when he puts out all the little things to let the kids know when it's tree decorating day so I thought that was super sweet it's all filled with glitter they can take it to their room and decorate it when they're done so I thought that was super cute got the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute I needed that got the gnocchi a la sorrentina this is the red sauce one jake prefers the white one like the four cheese kind of one they did not have it they only had the red one so i just got him that and then i got two of the mandarin orange chicken that is on the meal plan for this coming up week I got pink lady apples for Mason. We haven't had those ones in a long, long time. I got the super sweet white corn. I have not got this in a long time, but they changed the packaging and I didn't even know that they were carrying it anymore. And then I stopped to look at something else and then I saw the sign and I'm like, oh, they have my super sweet white corn back. And then I looked and I was like, huh, that's different. I guess they changed the packaging. So I don't know when they did it, if they just brought it back or if this is something that they've always had. But I didn't know because it looked so different. But this is one of the best like frozen corns you can ever buy. So I was happy to see that. I got some of the hash browns for breakfast this week. I got the turkey corn dogs for the kids for school. I got the sweet pull apart aloha rolls. I don't know if I've ever seen like Hawaiian roll dupes at Trader Joe's, but the kids like to take their sandwiches for the week, not peanut butter and jelly, but if they do some kind of like meat sandwich, they usually like it on something like this. So I grabbed that for their lunches. I got the Harvest Apple Salad Kit again. This has that unexpected cheddar in it, which I just absolutely love, with spring mix and apple cinnamon chips and pecans and a very, very delicious vinaigrette. So I'm looking forward to eating that. I love it so much. And then I never saw this one and it looked so different. So it says the Zatar Tango Salad Kit. So it's a blend of lettuces, sweetened diced dates, toasted sesame, salted pistachio pieces, and seasoned flatbread strips with a cucumber yogurt dressing. Yum, yum, yum. That sounds so delicious. So I grabbed that. I got some organic breadcrumbs. We're running low on that. I got some 2% milk. We're going to need just one gallon for this week. I didn't even really need flowers, but these just struck me since I was kind of having a rough day last week with all of the kids, just not feeling well. And I was under like a lot of stress with trying to get some stuff done. Jake went shopping and he picked up these roses for his mama and said he wanted to put a smile on my face. So I have those. And then you guys come and take a walk with me over here. Those are my flowers from Costco from two weeks ago and they're in pretty good shape so I didn't even really need flowers I was not going to buy them but these are just they're literally breathtaking they're gonna look perfect for when I film my Christmas home tour but oh my goodness the roses and the red daisies the hydrangea and just the yellow I can't they're just these are exquisite 
absolutely incredibly gorgeous. So I could not leave them in the store. They had to come home with me. And then I got two of our favorite meats. Dal absolutely loves these and I'm not allowed to come home without them. So this is the all natural shaved beef steak. We use these for like Philly cheesesteak sandwiches and stuff. And then I got the boneless skinless chicken thighs. We use that for Mississippi chicken. But all right, you guys, that was it. It was still kind of long-winded, I guess, but I don't feel like I got a whole lot, but I got a lot of specialty items and gifty things. And so if you have a Trader Joe's and any of these things that work for you, then get on over. Like she said, they are going to be gone in no time flat. So, all right, you guys, that was it. Meal plan time. All right, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, December 6th through Sunday, December the 12th. So for today, I just changed my meal plan around and we're doing leftovers. We just had a long week and I ended up cooking all week long and everybody was sick and nobody really wanted to eat. So now we have a fridge full of leftovers. I cooked an every plate meal yesterday and so it just made sense to just do a bunch of leftovers so we can clean out the fridge. So that's what we're doing for today. And then for tomorrow, we're doing creamy chicken enchiladas. I actually had this on the meal plan for a couple of weeks back and I I was filming a video for you guys and I had my chicken that I needed to shred boiling on the stove and my dog ate it right out of the boiling pot of water. So we had breakfast that night instead and I had all the rest of the ingredients ready to go. So I bumped it and we're going to have it this week. So I'm really excited about it because I've been craving it for quite some time. On Wednesday, we're gonna do the Trader Joe's orange chicken. I have some pork in the freezer that I'll pull out and dice up and make some homemade pork fried rice. I have some frozen broccoli, so it'll be like a nice little uh, Chinese takeout night. On Thursday, I'm gonna do some breakfast prep. I really need to fill my freezer. We're out of everything. We have no French toast, we have no pancakes, we have no waffles. So I really need to get on that. I just got like the hot cocoa, pancake and waffle mix. I have Bisquick, I have a bunch of different things. And so I'm just gonna make a ton of different breakfasts. I just got those hash browns. So all that will go. I have a bunch of fresh fruit still from my grocery haul last week. So all that will be great on Thursday. And then on Friday morning, I'm gonna get up and make a pot of sauce. It is Mason's birthday that day. He turns eight, so everybody wish Mace a happy birthday. But that is also the day that the Trans-Siberian Orchestra is coming to San Antonio. And I've been waiting to see this for my entire life. And I couldn't be more excited that I finally had a chance to go. But then that's also, like I said, the day of Mason's birthday. So we decided to go to the early show so I can still make it home for dinner and cake and presents and make sure that Mason still feels special like I'm not choosing something else over him. So I'm gonna get up in the morning. I'm gonna make my pot of sauce. It'll cook all day while I go to the see the TSO and then when we come back we'll do a big spaghetti and meatball dinner and cake and presents and all of that. On Saturday is Maya's dance recital. I am so excited to see her. She is doing a lyrical performance to Where Are You Christmas and then a tap performance to All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth and I just can't handle it like I'm so stinking excited so we have Maya's recital at three o'clock in the afternoon and then afterwards we're going to take a Mason to Incredible Pizza it's like a almost like a Chuck E. Cheese but none of us have ever been there before so we would, I just thought it would be fun especially since I'm missing part of his birthday the day before just to do something small as a family family and just have us go out and do something. I think he'll really enjoy it. It's part of his birthday present. And so the first part of the day will be about Maya. The second part of the day will be about Mason. And I'm going to pre-cook hot dogs. This way when we come home, all we have to do is do some mac and cheese and then we'll already have dinner set. I thought about eating an incredible pizza, but something like that can get pricey when I do like a ton of grocery shopping. There's really no point in ordering out if we can, you know, do it at home. And then on Sunday is Mason's birthday party and like I said I'm gonna keep it light and sweet I already have some chicken nuggets that I'm going to cook up I'm gonna do a veggie platter a fruit platter and then I'm gonna get those long like I get the everything French bread loaves of bread from Walmart and I'm just gonna make one giant sandwich like I don't know about you guys but on Long Island if there's a party we get a hero like you call the deli and you order a four-foot hero half the side is American the other half is Italian and that's like what you have at parties 
in South Carolina here in Texas. Like nobody knows what you're talking about when you say that. So I'm just gonna buy the big loaves of bread and the cold cuts. So I'll have little finger sandwiches, a couple of little like nosh on foods and then more like dessertsy kind of things. So that's my plan, but I'll be vlogging that day. So I will share that with you guys. But thank you so much for watching another grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Again, don't forget to go over and check out Tiffany at Small Town 6. Let her know I sent you in the comments below by leaving a little unicorn emoji. If you're coming from Tiffany's channel, thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I hope you'll stick around a little bit longer. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.